Leading on from ontology, we then have epistemology. Now, epistemology has to do with our understanding of knowledge, um, what can be accepted as knowledge. And there are a range of different approaches to this, often influenced by ontologies. So these are, for this course, again, we're um, only looking at a few of them. There is objectivism, constructionism, and subjectivism. So essentially, an objectivism or objectivists see the world as knowledge existing independently of ourselves. So very much like a re from a realist perspective in terms of ontology. So as we come to know things, it's about knowing pre-existing things that exist in the universe. Now, there is a tree out there somewhere um, on an alien planet that we go to and we discover it and we find out about it and explore it and so forth and we gain knowledge about it. Now, constructivist, oh, sorry, constructionists, <laughs> constructivists are slightly different, constructionists um, believe that knowledge building is a constructed process, that we construct knowledge about the universe. It doesn't necessarily pre-exist it requires a process of construction of that knowledge. So from that framework, we need to engage with a process of building knowledge. Knowledge doesn't already exist out there for us to find. We have to actually build that knowledge. And then finally, there's subjectivists. Now, subjectivists see all knowledge as existing within ourselves and that we can't really know the universe um, but we have certain experiences and we build that understanding. But someone else with slightly different experiences could build a completely different understanding of the universe and have a different understanding of knowledge about what they are experiencing. So it's very much socially and personally developed. So very different perspectives on knowledge. And where this becomes very important is in education because education is about building students' understanding. Now, if you as a teacher or an educator have a particular epistemological view of the uni universe and your students have a different epistemological view or the resources you're using are relying upon a different epistemological view, then there is going to be some disjunct. So it's important that you understand that there are different ways of understanding knowledge. And these can have an impact on pedagogy, but most importantly, it has an impact upon what's called our theoretical framework, which is how we go about engaging with knowledge. As researchers, it's primarily about how we go about engaging with research. But it can also impact upon educators in terms of how we go about engaging with teaching and learning, our pedagogy. So there are again a range of um, influences on our epistemology and they then influence our theoretical perspective and we'll discuss that next but just to reiterate around the three um, epistemology epistemological perspectives um, objectivists see reality as existing independent of the human mind and the process of research is um, revealing that reality. Constructionists reject the idea that there is an objective truth, that there is a single objective truth out there that we discover through the research process. Um, instead, they believe we construct that truth, that understanding of reality, through a process of knowledge construction. And that can be different with different people and through different processes, um, even though they may have the same um, raw access to that knowledge. And then there's finally subjectivists, again, who don't even really accept that we can have a socially constructed um, understanding of reality, but that all understanding of reality, knowledge is personalized and that we build it based upon our past experiences our own intellectual capacity and a whole range of other factors that are very much related to ourselves 
and that we can only know, the only thing we can really know is what we construct ourselves about the universe. So, a few different perspectives. Think about them in terms of your ontology, because they are very much dependent upon the ontological framework that you have, and how it may influence how you go about researching and learning about a new educational technology, such as ChatGTP. And we'll discuss this further in the tutorial.